Well, I had some uh, some uh, questions about my uh, muskrat uh, sets that I that I was making. Um, I'm making new muskrat sets for this upcoming season. Last year, what I had, I'm still going to use the ones I had last year, but I had only one platform with a single trap on there. Here's my um, screw for my bait and I just adjust these according to the water so down below here you can see I just take these this screw out and one on the other side and I adjusted it so I pound my stake in a little ways and then just before it hits the water I'll screw this on and I'll pound it down so the water level is just above my pan and uh, it takes a little bit to set them up it's not too bad if you're in a place where the water level changes a lot, this probably wouldn't be the set for you. But uh, where I'm trapping, I'm trapping in, uh, in uh, swamps, so the water level doesn't really change. And if it does, it, it's like a half an inch or so, it's no big deal. But what I didn't like about my other sets is I had a, I had a cable. I have a cable going down with a, with a lock, so the rat would get caught jump down, slide down the cable and it couldn't go back up. Which works awesome. The only problem is if I'm in water up to my belly button and that rat is all the way down at the bottom, you know, it's really hard to to retrieve to retrieve the rat. And another thing I didn't like about it is if the water is too shallow, then the rat wouldn't slide down far enough so it could drown properly. So what I did is I just bought some traps that have more weight to them. These traps have enough weight that if the rat works this trap off of here, which is very easy, I just have a little screw sticking through there. Then this trap has a little hole there, so the screw, and that's what holds the trap there. So once the rat gets caught, it goes down, and this trap is heavy enough that it'll weight the rat down. It, I don't need a drowning cable. So, very simple set. Um, it, it takes me a little bit to make these. Um, I've worked with floats before. Uh, this doesn't take me any longer to, to make than a float. Plus, what I like about this is it's not as bulky. What I do is I'll take this screw out here and I'll slide this right off. And then you just got a pull and then this and these traps, they just unclip here with this um, so I can take my traps off so you have there's not much to store it you know over the summer it's over the winter it's easy to store and uh, even when you're taking it out uh, you know in a little boat or whatever it's not so bulky uh, floats are so terribly bulky and that's one thing I didn't like about the floats I go set a lot of sets and um, and I actually had more success with this than floats, but floats work really good. I'm not saying that they don't work good, but I had more success with this. So that's my muskrat set, my platform set. Just a little pole. I have five footers and six footers. Um, I already know what the depths of the swamps are as a rule. So I have five and six foot. Um, what I like about the taller ones is I'll put a little bit of ribbon right here. And just enough so I can see it because when I when I set a lot of sets, you know, when the when the cattails are really high, um, you know, I like when this sticks out a little bit and I can see my see my set. So yeah, very simple, and I hope that answers all your questions. The other ones I had, I had a cable running down here with a drowning lock. Trap would fall off, slide down the cable, a rat would drown, and and that was about. You know, very simple. So, again, I hope that answers all your questions.